Remember my goal when I solve equations is to get x by itself. And the way that I do that is I use inverse operations. Like if I have plus, I use minus. If I have times, I use division. But here, I have squared. What's the inverse of squared? The square root. The square root, right? If I square root one side, I have to square the other side. So this is x equals. What's the square root of 36? Careful. The square root of 36 is plus or minus 6. When you square root a number, there's two answers. It's plus or minus 6. So then you write like this, x equals negative 6 or x could equal positive 6. Okay, and those are your two answers. Okay, now the same thing happens here. I have something being squared, so I say, oh, let me do the opposite of squared. I'm going to square root. And the same thing happens, which is when I square root, I have two answers. In this case, the square root of 81 is plus or minus 9. Now, I just so happens that x here was by itself, so I was done. Here, x is not by itself, so I have to keep on solving. x plus 5 could equal negative 9. Or x plus 5 could equal positive 9. Negative 9 minus 5 is negative 14. 9 minus 5 is 4. Now, here, you might think, oh, I'm something squared. I square root it. Yes, but not yet, because this thing that is squared, that has to be by itself first. So how do we get it by itself? Well, we just get rid of the other junk. We're going to get rid of these two things. We deal with addition and subtraction first, so I'm going to subtract 8. This is and the only thing that I've gotten rid of is the 8 here, right? So I'm bringing down everything else exactly as it is. 100 minus 8, sorry, 108 minus 8 is 100. I'm going to divide by 4, right? This 4 is being multiplied, so I'm going to divide. 100 divided by 4 is 25. Now, this, right, the only thing I got rid of here was the 4. So now something is squared. Now it looks like this. So I say, oh, something is squared. Let me go ahead and square root it. So I'm going to bring down, right, this is squared, this is square root. Those cancel it out. The square root of 25 is plus or minus 5. Okay, so this is where I say, oh, well, x minus 3 could equal negative 5 or x minus 3 could equal positive 5, okay? And then if I want to get x by itself, I need, I need to add 3 on both sides. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. That's one answer. Over here, I also need to add 3 on both sides. And 5 plus 3 is 8. That's my other answer.